Hello, So Cosmo. I'm Josie Dice. And I'm Wilder Weir. First up, we meet a fun, fearless female who turned her love for graffiti into a full time career. Check it out. Hi, my name is Erica Ballin, and I'm a visual artist. Drawing, painting, um, commissioned work, murals, live art, you name it, I'll paint on anything. From high school, I knew I wanted to, um, you know, make artwork for a living, so I went right to Art Fundamentals at Sheridan College in Oakville. And from there, I was introduced to illustration. I hadn't even known what it was. It was so amazing. I just put myself together a book and started sending out flyers and mailers, and I started getting calls back. I had jobs with the Toronto Star newspaper and the Globe and Mail newspaper before the summer was over. So I actually decided not to go back to school and, and just continue working. I went to New York, I showed my book around, and that's how I got a lot of those illustration jobs. And from there, I was still doing illustration work, and I would put four by six flyers along Queen Street in all the stores, and I was just bombarded, and I've been busy ever since. I grew up in Burlington, which was a train ride away from Toronto. And along the train line, I started to notice all the colors popping out at me. And one of my friends from high school sort of showed me the ropes a little bit, showed me the old school um, graffiti movies like Wild Style, um, Style Wars, and Beat Street. And I just got so, so overwhelmed and into it. I just knew that I wanted to do that. So I started out under bridges, like painting where, where it wasn't really like on anybody's property just to develop a hand style and and get better at using cans. When I would go, I would be going with a guy that would hang out at the railroad tracks and know exactly this car is coming in at this time and this car is going to do this and don't go between the trains because they could smash you. You got to really think, is this worth it? I remember around the time that I was doing um, a lot of illustration through the city and bumping into someone that was like, you know, what's this? You're so, you've sold out, you know? You're doing stuff for Athletes World. What would be better? What would be keeping it real? You know, being broke, like not having a job. So I don't buy into that at all. And then the funny thing is, too, is that I seem to get pigeonholed. Like, I paint on canvas with oil paints, and I've been doing that for 10 years, and people are like, oh, she's a graffiti artist. It's definitely been a struggle, that's for sure, and I think that my art has been like a creative outlet for me. So this piece here, it's called Mother Earth, and I think she's really representative of my sister. My little sister passed away when I was quite small, and I think that I feel her with me, like an angel character that recurs in my paintings. So that's really inspiring to me. The women in my artwork can either be um, like projections of myself. If I'm feeling like, you know, subdued and maybe vulnerable, like I'll paint maybe more of a childlike girl character. Or if I want to uplift myself, like I'll paint like a strong woman or a warrior. And it's just different ways of expressing myself. I've been working on music and putting myself out there again, being pretty fearless. I guess my legacy would be courage. First, no, not that first, no, not that first, that first, that first, that first, yeah, that first. I was just wondering uh, if I'd be able to find out what's in your purse. I think today might be a good day to look in my purse. Yeah, yeah, it's a good day. <laughs> it's a good day. Oh. Uh, wallet. Ooh. Sunglasses. Very nice. Eyeglasses. Can't read, can't see anything. Which that is a parking ticket. Uh -oh. I hate that. Of course, a woman always has a makeup bag. And Prada, very nice. Okay, so there's one essential yep. that I have yep. that I absolutely